apps. Um, so I'll go on from there. Uh, we're going into the idea of sovereignty. So sovereignty is a state of completeness and, and interconnectedness. It is recognizing that as a human being, you have an individuated spirit force that animates your physical, emotional, and mental aspects. And that through this spirit, you are complete and connected to all other life forms through the universal spirit consciousness or the source intelligence. Sovereign beings understand that they alone create their reality and that they are responsible for their life experience. Right? So that's a very important sentence. Um, once you become uh, sovereign, you comprehend that um, uh, you are creating your reality. And we take, uh, with that consciousness, then you start taking responsible for everything in, that's happening in, in that life experience. They also understand that all other life forms are equally sovereign and that they also create their unique realities. Sovereignty allows that the source of liberating information is contained within the self and all that is needed to create new realities is also contained within the self. It is the point of empowerment and connection to all through the frequency of love. All right, so it's probably going to be consensus on that idea. Uh, when somebody truly becomes sovereign and they, they adopt Christ-like uh, qualities uh, through, the, through in their own ascension, then they realize that they're creating it all, all their life experience. And they know that all other life forms are doing the same, even if they're not aware of it, right? And that's part of the journey is to become self-realized in to the point where you you know and experience that all all the information the liberating information is contained within the self and and that's highly consistent with all the other information i've worked with um it goes on the sovereign intent what i've heard is um People don't like the word government because when you break the, the word apart, it means govern, which is to control, and meant is mind. And so they, they take this as something which is mind, mind control, right? But when you look at it, uh, you need a governing system in whatever you're doing, right? For example, uh, our own bodies have a governing system. It's called the pituitary gland. Uh, it works in concert with the hypothalamus and the pineal gland, and it's the master controller of the rest of the biological system in the body, right? There's also a, a gland for every energy vortex, um, uh, the chakras. <clears throat> uh, the seven chakras have got um, an associated gland, right? And, you know, you can start from the base chakra and that's uh, the adrenals, the um, sacral chakra, which is the gonads, the, um, uh, the um, solar plexus, which is the, um, the pancreas, produces the digestive fuels, uh, which uh, are like a fuel. Uh, they, the, they burn the energy, and it's also a source of our willpower. The heart is the thymus gland. The throat is the, um, the thyroid gland. The brow sometimes gets mixed up, but I, I think it uh, refers to the pineal gland, the third eye. And the crown chakra is the uh, pituitary gland. 
So that's a, a governing system within us. We can't do without it, right? It's government on the biological scale. Uh, so what I'm saying is don't worry about language too much. Language was invented to stifle communication is a, is a powerful quote, which I might have um, expressed before. Uh, another one of the spiritual books, the, uh, the Yogananda uh, book, um, the autobiography of a yogi says, do not do what you want, then you may do what you like. And if you can decode what that's trying to say, it's got a double meaning. Uh, if you just do what you want, you know, if you don't have any governing of self or governing, if, if you're just a little bit out of control yourself, then you end up with a situation where you're not going to like what you want. All right? So you might as well use the, your inner wisdom to be inspired about your direction. And that way you will do what you like, not do what you want. I hope that makes sense, okay? Yeah. Call it administration if you don't like the word government. Uh, this quote here comes out of the Telos books as well. And it makes perfect sense to me. Governments corrupt to the core, always reflect the consciousness of the people Collective high integrity no longer attracts corruption. Um, that very uh, construct I've seen in other metaphysical information, right? The leaders of a, an oppressive regime uh, only exist because of the consciousness of the people. Right? Even the the even the the item of being born into an oppressive regime is something that you've chosen from a higher perspective right uh, that can be difficult for, for many people to accept the next quote comes from um conversations with god book one and that is it's talking about the chaos on the world, in the world. And what it says, what seems like punishment is nothing more than natural law asserting itself. It's not our fault, we say, and we are right. It is our choice. The world, the earth uh, and our life is in the shape it is in because of us, the choices we make or fail to make. Um, I hope that resonates with everyone that's heard that. Um, and it's entirely consist consistent with the sovereignty stuff that we shared at the, um, the beginning of this session, right? When you, when you become sovereign, you become, you, you, you actually realize that you're creating it all and everyone else is cre creating their, their own reality as well. Um, I've got a little bit more on the government here and a quote that I came across is the enemies of the people are criminals and government. Uh, that, came out, that came out of a money morning um, uh, newsletter that I, that I used to get. <clears throat> and, it, and it's true, the government, once it gets out of control, becomes the enemy of the people. Yeah. And that's why we have a constitution. That's why it's so important to protect the constitution. And then the next quote goes a little bit further. And I quite like this one. Do not steal. The government does not like competition. It's true. The government is above the law. It can legally steal private property. It's called taxation. And that's, in, that's consistent with um, the earlier material about Tax, taxation being a, um, a primitive way to run our society. Oh yeah, there, there's the quote. Taxation is a manipulative material creation, spiritually immoral and a pr primitive understanding of leadership and management. But if you don't pay it at the moment, they're gonna rake you over the coals and they could destroy your life. So be very careful with that. And uh, that's why 
other information I've put out is saying um, the middle path is to learn the rules so that you, you can disobey them. Right? Uh, the, the angry path is the one that's not recommended. And that, that one I've shared before is um, despite my rage, I am still a rat in a cage. And the joy path I've called um, find a piece of land and love it because it'll love you back. And I love that. You know, that's that's joyful to me. And I need to practice what I'm preaching. So maybe I should get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The next quote comes out of um, a book by Scott Peck uh, called A Different Drum. Has, has anybody heard of that book? It's a very powerful a very powerful um, book on uh, world societies and how it operates at the micro level as well as the macro level. And what he's quoting Golda Meyer, who says, international government does not mean the end of nations any more than an orchestra means the end of violins. Uh, so that's just a, a small portion of uh, a conceptual idea that international government is, shouldn't be something to fear. You know, we, we're seeing all this uh, new world order stuff getting around um, and there's a lot of fear about that, but it need not be fearful provided it doesn't end up totalitarian, right? And the problem, the problem of course, is that the New World Order has been pushed by people like you know, George Bush Sr. and the Rockefellers. And of course, when they use that term, you know it's, it's meant to manipulate and enslave the population. It's not meant to liberate them, that's for sure. And that's yeah. why people, many people rightly are, are, are quite fearful about the New World Order. Or as it's called now, it, it's morphed into a new term. It's called the Great Reset. Same, yeah. same game. Same game. Right. Yeah, but if we don't have a vision of how it can work, we're not going to work towards it. Yeah, well, right. Uh, I've shared before the three tools of creation, uh, and they are thought, word, and deed. So the thought corresponds to a vision, but if you only do vision, you're only a dreamer. You don't, you don't That's actually right. produce That's anything. Right. Yeah. If you only do deed, you'll be very busy, but you won't get, uh, you won't get anything done because it's got no vision behind it. Yeah. The word is what we're doing with these this communication right yeah. we need to express what we wish to create right yeah. if we don't express it in clear terms it's not going to manifest right, right. there's got to be a vision an expression and that leads to the action and if any one of those elements is missing uh, it won't manifest 